All right, I don't know how much of this any of you guys are aware of or followed or like myself, maybe just accidentally stumbled on and happened to see. But this guy, Prophet Muscle, who, I don't know, very bizarre, very bizarre individual in, in my opinion, but it's a, it's a free world over here. You do what you want to do. Except when you're infringing on somebody else's pursuit of happiness or you're invading somebody else's rights, trampling on their rights or their pursuit of life and liberty. And kind of this is what this guy does. You know, I mean, I saw him approach Stallone and Stallone was driving and he just caught him at a place where he's pulling out of a parking lot and he just runs up and tells him, don't do steroids and just throws a syringe in his, in his vehicle. You know how insane that looks to, to this guy? He's just driving along, minding his own freaking business. And somebody just, some person, random stranger, just runs up and tosses a syringe in the window of the vehicle. You know, hey, Prophet Muscle, do you really think you're getting your message across, whatever, whatever the hell it is? Because I don't know what it is, really. Genuinely, I don't know what the genuine message is. Do you think you're getting it across like that? you think it makes a difference in anybody's life, what you're doing? It's fucking ridiculous. It's goofy. It's stupid. You're making an ass of yourself. There's got to be another way to approach this. You know, maybe you're just a... I don't know, whatever. But if you're just going to be harmless and do whatever silly ass shit it is you're trying to do, more power to you. Hey, have a good time doing it. But if you're going to step on people's rights, like I said, and you're going to just disrespect people and just intrude and insinuate yourself in their fucking day, come on, man. That's uncool. It's not cool. Not cool at all. There's nothing noble about it. However, I just saw where Rich Piano posted a video of a response to Profit Muscle because Profit Muscle had you know, several videos the guys put up about him approaching Piano and made the video look as if he kind of like uh, caught Piano off guard and kind of just uh, really just came off kind of like somebody that's a little bit fresh out of the nut house, to tell you the truth. And uh, caught him in a parking lot and he did whatever he did with editing the video, but the whole gist of it is trying to make it look like he, uh, I mean, he calls his video Rich Piano, biggest bodybuilder, almost gets beat up or something. I mean, do you think that's positive? That's not positive, bro. That shit's not positive. But he's made another video. He's challenging Rich Piano. I don't know what Rich Piano ever did to this guy personally. There's a lot of things Piano does that, I, I, you know, whatever. But I think he's an entertaining dude. But like when he makes statements like, uh, you know, milk is an incomplete protein, that's just blatantly wrong. It's just patently wrong. But whatever. But yet he wants people to respect his knowledge. Those are issues. But they're small things. Who gives a fuck really? Who really cares? Does it make him a bad person? No, not really. No, I don't know the guy personally. But uh, he made a response video because Prophet Muscle made a video saying, Hey, Rich Piano, I challenge you to a fight. I'll pay you $20,000. And he's flashing some money that's supposedly, I guess, $20,000. And he's going to give him $20,000 if he will fight him. And if he doesn't fight him or get back to him by a certain particular date, that Prophet Muscle's going to. I don't know, put him out there in some fashion or way, you gotta make people know aware of his illegal activities or you know, some rambling type of incoherent shit. Well, Piano I guess finally just had enough. You know, just had enough. And had to break with his usual diplomacy actually. And um you you'd have to say diplomacy, I gotta give him that much credit. Um and he came across as very genuine and he fucking came across as genuinely irritated. And he came out and he said, uh, hey, I'll call you on it. Let's do it. I'll take your $20,000 since you offered it. And let's get this done. The sooner the better. Do it tonight, tomorrow night, the next night. I'm available whenever. So that kind of caught me off guard that he actually came out and did that. Not that I would follow this story like, you know, biting my nails. But that was pretty interesting. I got to give uh, Rich Piana huge, huge respect for, you know, coming out and just, be, just being a real dude and just putting it out there and just saying, look dude, fuck this, I had it with you, <laughs> you know, let's do it then. 
You know, actually, when I saw the video of Profit Muscle saying, I'll pay you $20,000 to fight me if you're a... I thought, huh, you know, I haven't fought in a long time as far as training or anything like that, but Jesus Christ, I'd fight the motherfucker for $20,000 too. Of course, I'm nobody. I don't have the fucking, you know, the uh, publicity piano has or, you know, the views and all that kind of nonsense and people that know. I'm not, my, I'm not a name like him by any means, so nobody's going to pay me $20,000, but... Twenty thousand dollars? I'd get in a ring with the motherfucker, you know. Win, lose, or draw. It's twenty thousand dollars for Christ. I've been in a lot of fights for. Why didn't make anything? Whatever. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. So we'll see what happens next. But I tend to agree with Rich Piana, you know, when he supposes that, uh, or he proposes that the guy's not going to show up with the money, and the guy's it's not going to really happen. Which I'd have to say that. That's probably what's actually going to happen. But what the hell? I'm figuring, you know what? Fuck it. Rich Piana seems to have a golden horseshoe up his ass or something most of the time. Everything he touches just seems to be profitable. So I wish him the best, and hopefully Profit Muscle shows up and gives him the $20,000, and who cares what happens after that? You know what I mean? I mean, Piana's got no, no, no way to lose. He makes twenty grand, and if he doesn't win, so what? He's, he's, he never said he was a fucking MMA fighter. You know, he's a bodybuilder. So all Profit Muscle stands to lose is $20,000. And what if Rich wins? Rich might knock him out. Who the fuck knows? Anybody can knock anybody out. You know, you, you, you catch him on the button unexpectedly like that, which is how it usually happens. Nobody expects it to happen. Anybody can knock anybody out on a lucky day. So anyway, I got to say that. I thought that was pretty fucking cool, Rich. So... I know I've said a few not really flattering things about the guy. Nothing horrible, because it's not, it's not me. I don't, I'm not going to say anything terrible about him. But uh, I thought that was fucking awesome. Extremely entertaining. Most entertaining thing I've seen today was his response to that Profit Muscle dude. But pretty cool, Rich. Good luck, and uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to get that 20000 either, but can't blame me one bit for trying.